All right, we're following some big breaking news at this hour. NASA is bringing Crew 11 home early because of medical concerns of an astronaut on board. It's NASA's first ever medical evacuation from the ISS in its 25 year history. All right, the crew just departed the International Space Station. They're expected to splash down off the coast of California overnight tonight. Liv Johnson's here now with more on this high stakes medical evacuation. Liv. Well, Steve and Natasha, the most recent update is that the astronauts have undocked from the station. So they are on their journey home. Now there's a 10 and a half hour journey ahead of them back to Earth and back to the coast of California. So to put this all into perspective, as Natasha mentioned, four astronauts are being forced to leave the station. And this is the first ever medical evacuation from the International Space Center. There are seven astronauts currently aboard the ISS, but after they land, they'll only have three on board. This also cuts SpaceX's Crew 11 mission short by one month. As we've said, NASA says this is because of a medical concern with one of the astronauts. They've not said what the medical concern is or who is affected by it. Now, the fact that this mission is losing four astronauts is a big deal for several reasons. First, we said it's the first time it's happened, and NASA has repeatedly said how important it is for the ISS to be fully staffed because this station will actually be permanently retired at the end of 2030, and they want to get all of the scientific research they can out of it. There are American and Russian astronauts on this mission. And when these four depart, as I said, there will only be three left. One of the astronauts made a post on LinkedIn saying everyone on board is, quote, stable, safe, and well cared for. Officials also say everyone on board will be able to operate the systems, but it is likely some tasks will be unattended, which could leave a risk of something breaking, especially on the outside. But that is still said to be highly unlikely. This is sound from NASA when the crew was given the undock command not too long ago. Sets of hooks, 12 hooks in all. Uh, once they're open, uh, then uh, Dragon uh, will be free uh, to begin uh, its journey away from the Earth, from the space-facing port of the Harmony module of the International Space Station. Uh, there will be a series of burns. There will be two uh, so-called undocking burns. The first will be one and a half seconds in duration. The second, five seconds in duration, followed by two so-called departure burns, one of 16 seconds in duration, the second of 22 seconds in duration. That will uh, accelerate Dragon's uh, rate of uh, separation from the international outpost. So a 10 and a half hour journey back. They'll splash down on Thursday around 1241 a.m. Pacific time off the coast of San Diego. Steve yeah, that is a wild first time event mm -hmm. for them. All right.